Okay, welcome back to the program, Psychophants. What we're gonna tackle today, sort of the first interior project, um, with the parts that arrived, is we're going to replace the shift knob with the um, ZHP shift knob. In theory, this should not be that difficult, but like anything, we will make it more difficult than it needs to be. So we've got the shift knob here. Um, we're gonna replace the cue ball Momo shift knob in here that the previous owner put on. And it shouldn't be that difficult. We might even take the um, um, leather shift uh, boot off and clean that a little bit since we've got the cue ball off. Um, but let's see how far we can get. In theory, this is a 10 minute job, but we could be here for three hours. So let's find out. Okay, <clears throat> this Momo shift knob is a little bit different to get off than your regular OEM. It's got, you unscrew the base here, okay? And you've got a couple, a little like, Allen screws here, the undo. So if you don't undo these and you try to pull this thing off, <laughs> it will be an exercise in futility. It won't matter how hard you pull, it won't come off. Now with the OEM ones, they usually just snap on, so if you yank hard enough, they'll eventually come off. So let's undo these. I'm hoping if I just loosen these, it'll pull right off easy and it doesn't really snap in very hard. That'll make my life very easy. Bingo. There you go. So, that's the way we want it to come off. Um, now, before I put the new one on, I'm thinking I want to take this boot off and clean it. So, let's go ahead and do that. It should just snap off here. Maybe we can take this off, um, clean the inside a little bit. Let's take it off and sort of recondition this leather a little bit and see how it comes out before we put it back on and put the ship knob on. Okay, we're going to try to clean this uh, leather shift boot here, and I'm using some uh, Trinova leather cleaner. Uh, it works really well, but if you got anything handy, it's going to be better than nothing. Leather Reek is really good too. Griot's also makes a um, a leather cleaner that's um, pretty good too. I've got that around here somewhere, but we'll try this. Uh, first thing we want to do is let's spray it on a towel here. And now I want to actually let me get a different rag here. I want to put a layer on this and I can actually spray this on here. It tells you not to, but we can do it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little boar's hair brush. I'm gonna work it into the leather here. And see, it's starting to um, suds up here, and that's what we want. This is a cleaner, not a conditioner. We'll go through the conditioner next. But we wanna loosen up any dirt that's been sitting on this thing for 20 years. And who knows, this might 
be a replacement boot. Might not be the original. And this is one of those things where, you know, if you've got your shift knob off, you might as well take the boot off and clean it. The edges. Who knows how much better it'll look when we're done. I mean, it wasn't filthy to start with. But it's worth doing since we have an opportunity to do it. So just work this into the leather. Get it nice and sudsed up here. You can see exactly what's happening. We're just trying to loosen the dirt. When we go back with the white towel, we'll see how much dirt pulls off, if any. Make sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies here, especially on the seams. Sometimes dirt likes to work its way into the seam. Just get a little more. I'm just using these really soft brushes, these boar's hair brushes, just because they're real gentle on things like leather. You don't want to use something that's got hard bristles like you know, cheap toothbrushes or nylon bristles or anything like that. It'll probably scratch your leather. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so now let's take our white towel and let's just see what comes off. We might pull dirt off, we might not. Well, there's some. I think what's happening more than anything I can see is the leather just looks smoother now. It doesn't have that sort of crocodile look to it. So, you can see we pulled, you know, there's some dirt that came off there. Um, that's what we want. So that's looking pretty good. It's amazing how much you can bring leather back if you just properly treat it, clean it, and condition it. A lot of times people look at leather and say, oh my God, it's, it's too far gone to look good. It's really not the case most of the time. Okay. So, there we are. I could go over this once more. Maybe I just should just real quick just to get off any remaining dirt. Because I don't plan on doing this again. Once the shift knob goes on, it's staying on, so. Like anything else, do it once, do it right. And I'm gonna really be interested to see how this works on the seats and on the leather, you know, just the interior parts of the car. I think it's gonna be a dramatic difference.
So again, leather it up or lather it up really good. You don't want to use this Trinova stuff on like new buck leather. It's not going to work the same. Okay. I can see now I'm, I'm not pulling a whole lot of dirt off anymore. Some, but not a lot, so. We're pretty much dealing with a clean leather surface now. Just wipe it off really good. Yeah, that's looking really good. I just kind of pop it out here. So, not bad. Not bad for five minutes of work. Now, let me get my um, conditioner here. Got baggies all over the place. Okay, again, this is just um, trying to a leather conditioner. You can also use, if you got uh, Lexol, Lexol is a good product you can use. You would use uh, Lexol on this, you wouldn't use Vinyl X. Vinyl X is strictly for vinyl. Okay, so this is a clear product. And we kind of just uh, work it into the leather. You don't need a whole lot of it. It's just going to kind of shine it up a bit. And this is going to protect the leather. I kind of like the Trinova because it gives, you know, every product is a little bit different. The Trinova gives it a little bit more of a shinier look. I think it looks, makes it look a little bit newer and less dull. So that's why I like it. So you kind of wipe this on. You can let it sit for a half hour or an hour or so, and then kind of go back and wipe off the excess. I'm not putting a whole lot on here though, so there won't be a whole lot to wipe off later. It's looking really good. Oh yeah. And I can actually treat the uh, ZHP shift handle. You know, it's leather. It's new from the factory, but I could, I, I might even do that. I might even just clean it up just a hair, just to make sure it's perfectly clean. Now here I'm just kind of wiping off the excess a little bit. Yeah, you can see there it's kind of a little bit shinier now. I mean, it almost looks brand new. Um, if it didn't have any creases or anything in it, it would look completely brand new. Okay. There we go. Okay, here's the shift knob. You know, who knows what contaminants and stuff come on this from the factory, so just kind of rubbing it down a bit with more leather cleaner. If nothing else, what this will do when I once I put the uh, conditioner on it, it should give it kind of a similar sheen to the uh, shift knob, so it doesn't stick out. Okay. 
Okay. Again, you don't need to use a lot of this. I'm putting this on a little styrofoam pad and I'm just barely putting any on here. So, we'll work this in. Again, we're going to wipe off the excess. Okay, so there it's pretty shiny, almost slippery. It's hard to keep a hold of. But now we're going to wipe off the excess a bit. good so shift knob shift boot they look pretty similar in terms of their sheen and their gloss so that's kind of what we want so let's go back to the car and put these on one other thing I've decided to do here is just sort of clean the inside of the uh, shifter area a bit after having taken the boot off. Sometimes a little dirt and grime gets in here. In fact, if I want to go balls out on this, I might even get my. That's so I am gonna get my little um, shot vac and just vacuum the little pieces of dirt in here off. That's gonna be easier. God damn it. Okay, got shifter boot and our shifter knob. So, it's actually, get that here. Should just snap in. that and now the moment of truth this should just pop right on here and snap into place it really should be turned there's a groove on the inside of the shift knob it's gonna get punched right in here the problem is according to this if I put it on so it lines up like this, it's crossing the other way. There's no way, I'd have to put it on this way. Like that. And that's not lined up right. I don't think I can twist it. Yeah, I can. I can twist it, maybe. There. That's the way it should be. good so there you go um, pulled the Momo shift knob off it was a little easier actually than 
um, OEM shift knobs where you really have to yank and pull them off. With the Momo, it just had some Allen screws that you had to undo and it came off really easy. So we kind of took our time with this, um, but I thought it came out really well. Um, ZHP shift knob, we took the uh, shift boot out, cleaned the leather on that, conditioned it. So we wanted to do this right. Um, probably a 15 minute job for anybody else. Ended up being about an hour for us, but um, it's the kind of thing you want to do it once, do it right, then we never have to worry about it again. And I think it looks a thousand times better um, than that aluminum cue ball Momo shift knob you see there laying on the floor on the passenger footwell. So there you go. This is kind of the first real easy interior upgrade we've done. I'm not even sure I'd call it an upgrade. <laughs> I might call it a retrograde. Um, but anyways, it's an improvement nonetheless. So if you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. Um, share this video on YouTube. The more shares we get, the more views we get. So it's not real complicated out there. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all the uh, social media bullshit. And um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe today so you never miss an episode. Take care.